So today is the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. Uh, we'll come back to our readings from Genesis, uh, maybe tomorrow. And uh, the creation of woman is a, a very beautiful part of the creation story. Uh, so that definitely deserves some reflection. We'll do that tomorrow, though. So Our Lady of Lourdes today. Uh, when we look at the details of the story of Our Lady of Lourdes, there, there are all sorts of subtleties that we mightn't pick up on. Often when we hear the life of a saint or when we read the account of, of apparitions, we see a one-page summary, and it looks really easy. You know, it looks you know, just a little child skipping through the meadows and sees Our Lady, and everyone applauds, and she becomes a saint. And she's beautiful now and incorrupt. And you think, oh, that's lovely. And all of the, the, like the, the, the details are, are so important. <clears throat> okay. How did it all begin? 14-year-old Bernadette with her sister and uh, a cousin were out there collecting scraps of wood from what was effectively the town dump. Okay, so people would get scraps of ditches and bushes and briars and brambles and toss them kind of effectively over a cliff down in, near the river, right? Uh, there was also hospital waste there. So, you know, people with severed limbs and they're, 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 they'd all be down there. Uh, you know, like it, it was a rotten place. That's important to know, okay? So this, it's a dump. They went down into the dump, right? This is how poor they were, all right? So they're rooting through whatever they could find there to bring it home to, to start a fire. So just keep in mind that there's that, that kind of poverty and this particular location is very, very important, very evocative of what the apparition means in reality. So she's crossing a little stream there and she sees Our Lady, okay? Now, Our Lady doesn't speak. Our Lady doesn't speak for the first three apparitions. So she just sees this beautiful lady. She doesn't know it's Our Lady. She doesn't call her Our Lady. She, she just sees this beautiful lady and it's just transfixed by her just like so taken by by the this this like you remember we're in a dump so you see suddenly something so beautiful and pure and radiant uh, it's just just completely absorbed by it but nothing is said okay so when she comes to when she comes back to herself she says to her sister okay I, I think I just saw I just saw something supernatural over it. She didn't say that. I, I think I just saw this beautiful lady. I just saw this beautiful lady. Don't tell anyone. And the sister says, promise. <laughs> Went home, told everyone, and um, just couldn't keep a secret. You can imagine a little child. And um, so the two of them got a beating from their mom for, for making up these stories, which of course, you know, in a small community, or oh, you the, the mother of the, those crazy children that said they saw something, you know what I mean? So they didn't want these stories going around. So give the, the children a firm reprimand. Uh, and, okay, a few days pass and they go back down again. And Bernadette sees Our Lady again. Now again, she just sees this, this beautiful woman, this heavenly presence in a dump, right? Our Lady comes into the mess and the dirt and the dump of the village to appear to these innocent pure hearts. I, uh, that helps me, I like that, because when you go to Lourdes now, obviously it's all paved and there are churches and chapels and the whole thing is, it's all so you know, clean. Uh, that's not the way it was then. Our Lady comes into the dirt and the mess and the untidiness uh, and the, the, the decay of our lives to bring in that beauty and purity and, and this recognition that we're called to so much more. So eventually the story starts to get out that these girls are seeing, or the, sorry, uh, that Bernadette uh, is seeing Our Lady. Incidentally, the other girls might ask, well, wh why not me? Why not me? Again, if you look at the details of the story, the, the, the apparitions weren't one day after the next, right? Sometimes they were. Sometimes there were two days between them. Towards the end, there were two weeks between them. So they'd go down every evening. What time? It varied. So imagine you're going down, like, and Our Lady doesn't appear today. And then you go down tomorrow, and there's like 50 people watching, waiting to see Our Lady come, and nothing happens. And so you go home, and you're like, I'm, I'm not making this up, am I? And all these people go, she's crazy. And like, nothing happened. So the fourth day, we've gone down, like we didn't see anything. Nothing happened. 
and then you go down to 50, and then there's an apparition. But like, it was, you know, all of this required great faith from Bernadette to keep doing it, okay? Because I'll say they weren't regular. And then the ninth apparition, our, our lady points to a spot and says to her, go and drink. And Bernadette looks around and presumes she means the gab, the river behind her. So she starts walking towards the river. Our lady says, no, that spot there, and points. And our, Bernadette looks at, at this spot and to her concern, sees it's a puddle. And so she goes over to the puddle and she's like, I can hardly even get enough water here. So she, she has to dig a little. Now remember, remember, from a spectator's point of view, right? You didn't hear what our lady said. You just see this lady looking around, this girl looking at a spot. Starts walking towards the river, comes back, and it starts walking towards a puddle and starts digging in it, okay? Then she puts her hands down to make, to make a cup kind of a thing, and the first th three attempts, the water is so grimy and muddy that she can't drink it. There's not enough, not enough water there, okay? So she's digging it more, and then eventually she gets some and drinks it. And then our lady says, and eat grass. Now, you can just imagine the, the hun there were a couple of hundred uh, witnesses at that point. They're all looking on at this girl who says she sees Our Lady in a dump. One day yes, one day no. Will it be today? Who knows? Now she's digging in a puddle and eating grass. Like, so the, the, so you'd say, oh, why, wasn't, why didn't Our Lady appear to me? Would you have been able to do that? Would you have been faithful to her? To do what she said knowing what the people might think. It's not as, like this apparition thing, it's not as easy as people think. You know, you just see Our Lady and you become a saint. It's fantastic. It's not the way it works. You have to have such a pure heart, such a pure intention, and be so obedient, even though after the apparition, after the apparition, you're left with the, the grime of reality, the doubt of people, the scorn, the maybe even threats from your parents going, if you're, if you're making this up, well, I swear, you know? So not easy, not easy at all. At this point, then, people start to think she's crazy. Okay? So what's the fruit, then, of this act of faith? The following day, a stream starts to flow from that puddle. And shortly afterwards, a lady with a, a damaged nerve in her arm bathes her arm in it, and the arm comes back and is healed. But the act of faith took place first. She had to dig in this puddle and look crazy, like Noah building the ark. You do something that looks absolutely insane in the eyes of the world. But through it, people are saved. Through it, people are healed. So... Like that's why I, I love the, the, the details of the story. Like just the, the, the digging, when I heard that first, like the digging in the puddle thing, I thought, my goodness, like the last thing I'd want is an apparition, you know what I mean? If the whole parish looking at you and you look absolutely crazy, you know? So anyway, the, once then that the, there was a healing, numbers start to greatly increase. Uh, this is in 1858. So still a lot of, a lot of poverty in that area a lot of simplicity. Uh, Our Lady, when she spoke to Bernadette, we don't have this in English, but she, she spoke to her using the formal form. If you've ever studied French, she, she spoke to her using vous, not tu. So she said, uh, voulez-vous me faire la grâce de venir ici pendant 15 jours? Would you do me the grace of coming here for 15 days? Right? But she, like, it, it, it's, it's interesting. We, again, we don't have this in English, but... Um, no one would ever have spoken to her because of, with vu because of her age. You're a child, so you don't, get, you don't get the formal form when you're so young. And it was also a cultural thing that if you were poor, they didn't call you vu. No, even if you were a grown-up, you know, but if you were a grown-up servant in the house, you'd be tu, never vu. So Our Lady speaks to her in, in this exalted form, just the, 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 res the reverence, the respect that Our Lady has for Bern. It's beautiful, like, it's absolutely beautiful. Also, Our Lady spoke to her not in high French, but in, in her own dialect. So again, it's like, you know, if she, if she appeared in Glasgow, Our Lady spoke Glaswegian, or if it was in Donegal, Our Lady spoke with a Donegal accent. I mean, Our Lady spoke with Bernadette's accent, right? So a really kind of a, it's a Spanish-French mix kind of a thing. So Our Lady, again, comes down into our reality. Why? What's the, what is the answer to, to why Our Lady would do this? Because Our Lady is your mom. 
Our Lady's your mom. So she's, she, she speaks in a way to lift you up. She speaks like you because she's your mom. And like all moms, moms aren't afraid of nappies. Moms aren't afraid of coming into our dirt and mess. So Our Lady's our Heavenly Mother, and she, she shows us this in, in Lourdes. She asks then that a, a chapel be built there and people come in procession. She refers this on to uh, the priest, the local parish priest, who says, look, sorry, no, we have a chapel. Why would we build another one? And who is this woman? What's her name? And Bernadette said, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what her title is. I don't know. He said, oh, sorry now. Look, I recommend you don't go back. Now, it wasn't a, a direct command not to go back, but I recommend you don't go back. So, it, so Bernadette goes back, and in, again, a couple of days pass, and there's another apparition. A couple of days pass, and another, another apparition. She asks three times, Our Lady, what is your name? And Our Lady just smiles. And he, again, imagine you're the visionary, the whole place is looking on. The parish priest wants to know what the story is here. It's great that you're smiling. I just, I really need to know your name. You know what I mean? This is, this is fairly important to me right now. And, she, you know, she just smiles. Um, and eventually, four apparitions later, she says, Je suis l'Immaculée Conception. I am the Immaculate Conception. Now, while this had been declared a dogma four years beforehand, Bernadette, in her simple life, remember, this is before social media, this is, like, they, could they read? Pro she probably couldn't. Uh, but while the printing press had been existed, like, these kind of like, documents, books, libraries, like, they were so rare, and like, th this people, these people, they were focusing on survival, you know, going to a dump to get firewood. Right? They weren't wondering, what will I read this evening? You know, so they didn't, this while, as, as I say, was a declared dogma, they wouldn't have known. And also, even those words, immaculate conception, aren't exactly, even in English now, they're not exactly commonplace. So she says this, to, she refers this on to the parish priest. She said her lady, her, the lady said her name is, uh, the Immaculate Conception. She says, I am the Immaculate Conception. And he asks her, where did you hear this? And she said, Our lady, the lady said it to me. And she said, I've been saying it constantly on the road the whole way from there to here so I wouldn't remember it. So I would remember it. Because uh, it, it, this for him was a great con confirmation that what, was actually ha what had actually happened was a supernatural phenomenon. So, uh, miracles have been worked. Uh, it eventually gets the approach. It's met, obviously, understandably, these things are initially met with skepticism because you can't believe everyone who says to see Our Lady. There are, there are people somewhat unhinged out there as well. So it's, it's important that these things are verified. So you know, the church does have to move uh, cautiously in these things. But it was seen by the miracles, by the coherence uh, of what Our Lady said and by Bernadette's own life that Indeed, there was a supernatural phenomenon that Our Lady had appeared. And then the 18 apparitions there in Lourdes were recognized. Pilgrims started to come at a, at, at a time of great turmoil also in France. Uh, it became a great center of prayer. And to this day, pilgrims from all around the world come to, to see what's now a very beautiful and prayerful grotto. Now, again, even the word in English, grotto, sounds, sounds lovely. Uh, Grotto, like it, it means a cave, basically. Uh, so a lady comes into the, the darkness and the dirt of a cave to be with us, her children. So the story of Our Lady of Lourdes, it's one that has everything to do with you and I. It is one, a story that has everything to do with the difficulties that you and I face. Uh, especially now when one could argue the world is so, so dark and in such confusion and and so much, there's so much fear, and even on, on the internet, whether you, you want to or not, there's so much dirt on it. Like, you know, even I was looking with a friend there for something, what we were looking for. Oh, yeah, it's some, a video that we needed to research. Like, and then, you know, you look through, you find the video that you want, and then before it and after, it's all, oh, gee, it's just like, God bless us. Click, just click there quick <laughs> and get rid of the, you know, there's just so much dirt out there, so much dirt. So Our Lady is appearing in, 
in that is coming to you and I as her children in the dirt of our lives to raise us up, to exalt us, to show that she is our mother, that she is there with us where we are in our difficulties. And so we ask the good Lord today to the prayers and intercession of Saint Bernadette that we may come to an ever deeper love and understanding of the greatness of Our Lady, of her role in our lives and of her desire to guide us to her son. Amen.